Hello. It's good to see you. Happy Halloween, as we have done now for several years. Since it's Halloween, we're going to paint a little bit. We're going to do a Bob Ross style painting today. These always make me really nervous for some reason. Um, I'm starting out with no plan this year. I just have a blank canvas and some paints, and we're just going to see what we can come up with. This started, I think, about five, five years ago when I happened to have Halloween. I had the 31st off work. And I had been wanting to do one, so I decided to do it that day while my kids were at school. <laughs> so it's just kind of become a tradition to do a Bob Ross style painting on Halloween. So I have everything set up. I have my, I've got my canvas ready. I'm going to put some liquid white on here. I haven't done it yet. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to get ready and see what we come up with. Like I said, I have no plan. I have no idea how this is going to go, but we're going to find out. <laughs> I forgot to mention that I'm wearing my Bob Ross shirt. Look! Hold the microphone. See? Bob is going to help us today. The spirit of Bob is around and about, and we're going to just have some fun with this canvas. Okay, we're starting out with some different colors here. I have two shades of blue. I have some red. Um, I think this is a lizard and crimson. A lot of these are not Bob Ross paints and they're actually from a set that doesn't even have names. <laughs> so I don't know, they're just different colors. And we'll be working with more than that. But for right now, we're just gonna be doing a little bit of sky here. So I'm gonna take, this is um, like a generic paint. Get a little bit of white. Actually, that color is not bad the way it is. I'm going to add a little bit of white to that. Just like that. Just going to mix it on the brush. I'm not even going to bother making it perfect. Okay. Let's do some sky. Good Lexus. Little crisscross strokes. I'm gonna bring it on down. And it's mixing with that liquid white that's on the canvas already. And as we go down, we make it, it just automatically starts to become lighter and lighter. in there and the technique I learned from Bob if you get a little bristle on your painting don't try to pick at it take your brush and just lightly lift it off it will do less damage to your painting than if you sit there trying to pick at it okay I'm thinking right down here perhaps we could do a little bit of water and make that a little bit darker so I'm just going to tap right into this darker blue. Mix it in with what I already have over here. Do you get it a little darker? Oh, it has a bit of a purple tone to it. And right here. It's not quite dark enough. Ooh, look at that. paint once a year and it's when we do this painting that we're doing right now. Ooh, that looks good. What if I added a little bit of brown? What would, oh, wow. Boy, that just takes over the world, doesn't it? Oh, my word. 
not care. There. We can bring it on out, it doesn't matter. Okay. There's just a little hint of brown in there. It's not a lot, just a little. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my brush. I'm not going to beat the devil out of it because I like my floors and my walls the way they are. I'm actually going to let that just sit in the paint thinner for a minute. Okay. What if we do a mountain right here? Incorporating some of this bluish brownish color. Does this count as a bravery test? I kind of think it does. Oh. I think I need to put it on a little bit thicker. mountain looks like it got a perm. Just let it 
fade off into oblivion down there. Okay. It's a mountain. It's a mountain, sort of. Yeah, wipe my knife. And my other knife. Wipe it off. Clean my knife. Somewhat. Down here I have just an old towel that I don't use for anything anymore. Now then, I'm going to pick up a one inch brush. Let's get some green on here. Okay, I just realized I don't have any bright yellow. So if we're going to do trees, they're going to have to be kind of dark. I'm also out of lighter green. I could add a little white though. Take a little bit of white and add it to some sap green. That was not enough. Boy, that's dark. Isn't that dark? My goodness. Is this brush big enough, do you think? Hmm. I guess for the background, it doesn't matter. We're going to put trees in here. We want to leave some open areas where the blue can shine through. open for water. It doesn't have to all be open though. This is basically just the back of the trees. We can come way up here if we want. We can do some other colors too. And we will. do any 
clouds at all today. I wonder if we could pop in a couple of clouds with a little bit of this titanium white. I'm just washing my brush right now with odorless paint thinner. I have a fan brush and what a fan brush it is. Isn't it lovely? I'm gonna see what I can do. There's a bristle. stick to a thick paint. I'm going to add a little mint of paint thinner to it. Wispy clouds. Light, fluffy, wispy clouds. Incredibly light. now wind-swept clouds. They're very pale. Okay. All right. I'm going to rinse that fan brush. I'm going to rinse the fan brush out. We're going to try to add a little bit of snow to the mountain. I have a little roll of paint on my, on my little knife. Three hairs and some air. You want to be very gentle. Very gentle. Be careful. Gently, delicately, the paint so that it breaks. Very careful. There. All right. We have a little bit of snow on there now. Okay. I wipe my knife. I clean my knife. Let's go with a different color. Actually, first, I want to do some branches. I have this brush here. I want to do some sticks. We have to be able to hold this stuff up. Is that going to do it? I might need a little bit of paint thinner. Just a touch. I'm gonna try that. We need branches. Nothing in nature is terribly straight. I try to keep my head out of the frame, but it's hard. Because I have to be able to see what I'm doing. Little indications.
and come over here do some I don't really have a liner brush I was trying to find something that would work brush from our postcard paint by number sets. Let's try this little brush with some burnt sienna. Let's see what that does. And a little paint thinner to it. put in some little indications of some branches. It doesn't matter because a lot of this is going to get covered up. again with ooh, let's go with a dark darker color I don't want to cover up all the green I really wish I had some bright yellow. But if I go to Michael's one more time, they're probably going to just put me on the payroll and stick me behind a register. I've already been there so many times this week. I went to get paint thinner, a canvas, some paints. They're gonna seriously put me to work if I show up one more time. <laughs> There's gonna be stuff kinda hanging out over the water right there. I'm gonna do some other colors too. But I wanna put in a little bit of this pretty brown. It's like a 
light brown. It's mixed a little bit with some green too. Right there. reflection on the water. Right there. Okay. Let's see. Let's do another color. We're well, going to try some of this. Um, I don't I think it's Indian yellow. I think that's what it's called. A little bit of that. Maybe a touch of paint thinner. These paints are new, but they're very thick. Oop. I have become a mud mixer. Yeah, this is not my favorite painting that I've ever done. <laughs>
much more red. Yeah, I didn't really have a plan for this painting. But one thing that's nice about doing these paintings, though, is that you get the nice sounds, even though mine don't really look like anything. <laughs> oh! If I do this again next year, I will probably try to find something in particular to do and perhaps practice a little bit. Because <laughs> literally this is the first time I've painted since last October. I, I don't paint. I'm really not a, a painter. I'm more of a storyteller. I'm not really a painter. <laughs> but anyway, there we have an impromptu painting. Kind of done on the fly. And I guess I need to put my name on it, but right now I think I'm going to just leave it because my liner brush is not great and, well, I don't know. Let's try a little bit of this dark red. I usually do bright red. I'm going to make it small down here. It just kind of blends in down there and that way I don't really have to claim it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed uh, listening to the sounds of painting and yeah it, it didn't turn out great. Some years are better than others and the fact that I had no plan probably didn't help but we've created a painting today. Look! So yeah, I think it has some nice color to it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed creating this painting today, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you again soon.